Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Nancy Pelosi just said why legal U.S. citizens owe a debt to illegal dreamers, you'll cringe. Democratic politicians owe a huge debt to people from minority groups, who keep these Democrats elected despite the fact that the lawmakers make such disastrous policies. The Democrats have a huge incentive to keep rates of immigration, both legal and illegal, up in our country. They also have a big incentive to try to give the nearly one million dreamers a true path to citizenship, as that will mean a significant boost in votes in critical swing states like Colorado, Nevada and even Texas and Arizona that have increasing Hispanic populations. Nonetheless, Democratic House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi recently told American citizen that it is we who owe a debt to illegal immigrants. Said Rep. Pelosi during a town hall, our dreamers. They make America dream again. She continued, talking about the illegal dreamers, they're so lovely. We, frankly, owe a debt to your parents for bringing you here to be such a brilliant part of our future, that's what America is all about. Rep. Pelosi's absurd statement drew no shortage of criticism. Wrote one Twitter user in response, stating the obvious, let's be clear about the difference, illegal versus legal immigrants. One follows laws and becomes citizens. The other invades a country united. Another said directly to Pelosi, emphatically, hashtag Pelosi Town Hall we owe a debt to WHO Nancy Pelosi? Dreamers? You fucking serious? You're a nutcase. Do you think Pelosi's statement that we owe a debt to illegal immigrants is absurd? Rush Limbaugh crushes George Bush for his vile speech against Trumpism. George W. Bush joined the liberal hate train in an awful speech against President Trump. We've seen nationalism distorted into nativism, forgotten the dynamism that immigration has always brought to America. We see a fading confidence in the value of free markets and international trade, forgetting that conflict, instability, and poverty follow in the wake of protectionism, said Bush. The New York Times celebrated. Without saying Trump, Bush and Obama deliver implicit rebukes, they wrote. Rush Limbaugh was furious. George W. Bush did not say much of anything for the eight years of the regime of Barack to say no. He didn't write a letter. He often said, hey, I had my eight years. I'm not gonna comment on my successor. It's not the way we former presidents do things, explained Limbaugh. Well, okay. Uh, the dynamism that immigration has brought to America. I have a stat. I saw this the other day. It's one of these things I knew but I didn't know. I said, yeah. It shocked me, but then when I stopped and thought about it, it had to be true. The U.S. immigrant population has hit a record 43.7 million in 2016. One out of five dot five, one out of five and a half, Americans is an immigrant legal and illegal combined. One out of five. That's not dynamism. That is an invasion that has been ignored and you might even say covered up. It is a trend that a majority of Americans oppose and that's why Donald Trump was elected, explained Limbaugh. I don't know. What is this, the George W. Bush version of Hillary's deplorables? Asked Limbaugh. Do you think he's right? CNN's Sally Khan just gave stupid reason libs should blame Trump for Harvey Weinstein. Republican President Donald Trump has become a boogeyman to many liberal Americans. No matter what goes wrong in our country or in the world, they just blame it on Trump. This perhaps reached a new low recently when divisive CNN host Sally Khan wrote a column on CNN's website where she tackled all the sexual assault and rape accusations that have been piling up against movie mogul Harvey Weinstein, who was a friend of the Clintons and one of their biggest fundraisers. 
instead of actually admitting that powerful entertainment industry player Weinstein was responsible for all the assaults on women he committed, Khan absurdly asked instead, but should Weinstein in part blame Donald Trump, for whipping up Hollywood against sexual assault in the first place? She continued, beginning with the largest march of women and their allies the day after Trump was inaugurated, we reached some critical mass in America and around the world of just refusing to stay silent and, together, more and more women are speaking out. And at the same time, for Hollywood in particular, the challenge of Weinstein was interesting timing. Khan again used Trump as a scapegoat and punching bag later, writing, just like Donald Trump is responsible, in some way, for having gotten us all to surface and scrutinize these issues in new ways. And hopefully that means Hollywood, and all of us, will change for the better. Do you think it's laughable that these liberals won't stop blaming conservative Trump for their own problems? Lindsey Graham just told illegals, you make America a better place, what's wrong with him? Republican Senator Lindsey Graham has been a thorn in President Donald Trump's side on many issues. One of the ways Senator Graham has diverged with President Trump's conservative agenda mostly sharply has been in regard to what we should do with illegal immigrants in our country. So-called Republican Graham has found himself on the same side as Democrats like Barack Obama and House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi in wanting illegal dreamers to have a path to full citizenship instead of being sent back to their home countries for trespassing here unlawfully. In a cringeworthy display, Senator Graham recently stood with a group of dreamers and publicly declared to them, so here's how this movie ends, your dream is going to come true. The group of more than 100 illegal immigrants with him all cheered at that line. The South Carolina Republican wasn't done. He continued, All of you are going to have certainty in your lives. You're going to get a chance to go out there and live that dream and you'll make America a better place. Senator Graham somehow did not take into consideration how these young illegal immigrants would be directly competing for jobs with American citizens. Instead, Graham reaffirmed his support for the DREAM Act of 2017, which he introduced to the Senate, saying, Here's the deal. I've never felt better about the DREAM Act than I do right now. He claimed to illegal immigrants, the American people have heard you. They share your dream and overwhelmingly support your dream. Do you think Graham needs to get voted out of Washington? OMG mainstream media just did something insane to help white supremacists. It is just unbelievable how hypocritical these leftists in the media can be. We all hate neo-Nazis, white supremacists, etc. etc. However, it seems like all the big leftist news organizations want to give them their own shows. ABC just did something disgusting. They actually went out to visit one of the worst neo-Nazis. Richard Spencer and gave him the gift he always wanted. They gave an actual white supremacist neo-Nazi leader a place to speak on network TV. Seriously, this guy is the worst of the worst. He wants an all-white nation, his words, amongst other despicable things. Heck, I almost added the video in here and decided no, we conservatives are better than to spread his bile and filth. They try to pitch it as Richard Spencer meets an Antifa protester, but why give him a chance to recruit? Maybe they don't realize it, but giving this guy a platform is the worst thing to do. It's not all ABC's fault, though. He has also been given chances to spread his hate-filled, pro-Hitler messages on Al Jazeera, Time, Vice, The Atlantic, and CNN. The amazing thing to me is that these guys are regulars on the mainstream media. They love them. These are the same people that boycotted Kellyanne Conway. So, once again they try to associate horrific beliefs with the party of Lincoln. We will not let them tarnish who we are. Let the world see how much free press the left is giving this monster, but don't share any of his actual videos. We are not what they tell us to be.
I just want people to remember my son. Gold Star Mom slams CNN for anti-Trump rant. CNN's Allison Camerota shamelessly tried to manipulate a Gold Star family into attacking President Trump, but they wouldn't buy it. Camerota started the interview by asking if President Trump ever gave them a call. No I haven't but it's okay. It doesn't matter if I hear from the White House or not, because it's not really, about a call or letter, said grieving mother Sheila Murphy. A banner that said Gold Star Family said Trump never called them immediately lit up on the screen. Murphy went on to explain that all she cares about is people remembering her son and no Gold Star Family cares about a call from the president. The worst thing I have ever been called is a Gold Star Mom, cried Murphy. Cam wrote to continue to push politics. I know that you, you wrote a letter to the White House, I think. What did you want the president to know about your son? Asked Cam Rota. I just wanted him to not forget my son. And I actually thank President Trump for ordering the airstrike in Syria but it wasn't enough to save my child. I have no hard feelings towards anyone, said Murphy. How can we help you? Asked Cam Rota. If you could just give me my son back, responded Murphy.